Paracohermia. Mr. Speaker, that was a very interesting speech uh, from the previous uh, speaker. But, but there's some very interesting points in there about shoring up the votes. And he takes the flip side of the pain and poverty that has been felt by a lot of families in this country and decries um, more tax or whatever else. And one has to ask the question, when you have ideologies like 82% of the tax cut recently given went to 3% of the people in this country, what's that about? What's that about when you're talking about balancing the books and whatever else? That's about looking, looking after a certain clique and making sure that it travels through. It was very interesting as he talked about power prices and there's been this haphazard return of going back to the nine years of labour. Everything, the problem is about nine years in labour. Well, let's talk about the power prices that he talked about, uh, Mr Speaker, in relation to 9%. Isn't it funny that Genesis just recently increased its prices in Gisborne to consumers by 10%? Now, that was on top of the 2.5% GST rise, and they're about to raise it up again 2.7%. Doing the maths quickly, that nearly doubles in a very short time what that person purported happened in the, in the Labour Party's time. And that's not counting all the other times. So, you know, it's a bit like cuckoo land at the moment. King with no clothes. Everything is great. All these jobs are going to manifest out of space and come out of the fog, and you'll be happy chappies. Just trust us. Well, there was so much talk about the cycleway. The only bike that's going to be parked up around here in November is the one that you're going to get on and leave this building and come back on this side. So what are the costs and what are the realities? With that sort of power rise, the old people won't turn their heaters on over winter. That's what they do. They snuggle up in the blankets to get warm. And there's been this lapdog <laughs> speech from over there in the sense of sucking up to the Prime Minister from that lot over there, knowing full well that they have achieved, they have achieved the 90 day stymieing of people's rights. It has cost a lot of our people jobs. Tohenare, and you know that. And in my electric, the average wage is $15,000. It doesn't even come close to the 24000 And they want to huff and puff about the unemployment rate. The last time the national government let, left the benches of government, they left behind a 28% unemployment rate. You know, in some places around this country, like Wairau, parts of Hastings, it's on 50%. Ask Craig Foss about that. Ask Mr Tremaine about that. It is high, and he knows that. And then ask Mr Foss, because I know it pains him, and I respect him for that, about the closure of all the small businesses in Hastings and Napier at the moment, totaling nearly 32. So if this is supposed to be a platform of policy that ensures surety in business for mid-sized businesses, then something's going chronically wrong in Napier and Hastings, uh, Mr. Mr Foss. Even the good old latte drinkers are suffering. That 3%. Coffee's gone up 15%. And poor people don't even have the chance to, to um, have a go at that. The public service. This is one of the most fascinating debates out about the great public service. You know, you create all this doom and gloom, you slip out of the framework of proper budgeting and decent fiscals to making people poor, though, to making people suffer. To missing out, we go to the chemist in Camberley at the moment. Go to the chemist in Kaiti and have a look at all the bloody medication Order. that people. Oh, sorry, Mr. Speaker. And have a look at the. Be terminated if you're going to use that. And have a look at the bottles of medication, Mr. Speaker, that are piled up there, and people can't afford to go and get it. It is a disgrace, Mr. Speaker. It is a disgrace. It is a disgrace. Go to Wara. Go to the chemist, Mr. Speaker. That's how you can measure things. That's how you can measure things. That's why I'm sitting here and you're still sitting back there, son. You'll learn it as you get along here in nine years. That's why I'm sitting here and you're sitting there, son. At the end of the day, that's the sort of pain that this government has been inflicting on our people. It is a shocker. And that the Māori Party signs up to the 90-day bill that punishes the freezing workers, all of those other people, is quite dippy. It's quite dippy. 28% you left us with. 
We brought it down to 4%. We brought it down to 4%. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. The Labor Party brought it down to 4%. They generated skills, and when you got in, you cut half of the skill money that was, was uh, when the, the National Party got in. They cut half of the money to the, to the skills and training of that. Oh, yes, they did. Yes, they did. You know, rents have increased by 9.5%. Rates have increased by 9.3%. GP fees are up 6.5%. ECE costs have risen. You know, petrol filled a car up the other day, $141. Boo-hoo-hoo. How's the average family got to do that? And that's success. And that's success. You know, most people in this, in this adjustment are scared of their jobs. They're scared of their jobs. And that mean-spirited speaker who just spoke then said, let's not m- turn it into a Monday holiday or whatever else. Let's not care about the people. Why is every embassy yesterday closed in the city of every other country? Gave their staff a holiday. You know why? Because we've got a mean-spirited government that believes the people don't deserve a break, an extra break. It wouldn't hurt the majority of companies. We have the highest price being paid at the moment for stock in this country. We have the highest return on logs for 16 years in this country. The milk butterfat price is up higher than it's ever been. It has nearly doubled, and that's good. But what's happening with the wealth? Who's sharing it? A lot of parents have been through agony and pain. The ones I talked to over the last two weeks, they can't afford their kids' school uniforms. What's that about? They can't afford the school, kids' school uniforms. That's real stuff. That's stuff about people wondering about what they should eat and buying more spuds than anything else. It is an indictment on this government, Mr. Mr. Speaker. And the tertiary institutions are, are announcing an increase of 4%. The universities have kept the entry. Guess who suffers? The, the universities have kept, the, have kept, the, kept it and increased it. Guess who misses out? The Maoris and the Pacific Islanders. It's all right for the bolding eagles who sit around and pervade across this country and believe that they're helping people. The ECE costs are going up. A lot of the kids aren't getting the ECE um, support. The Minister of Labour said a very interesting thing over there. The Minister of Labour said that in relation to the labour market, the 90-day bill is the principal platform that would help them. So... We have all the skill sets being cut. The Labour Party is clear on developing skills, on training and ensuring that our economy is matched like the Australian economy and that our people stop jumping over the ditch and going there. Why are they leaving? One of the things we heard in this House from this present Prime Minister when we were the government was, everybody's leaving, everybody's leaving to Australia. He's forgotten that tune. There are more people that have... There are more people who have moved to Australia in the last two years than had moved in the last 18. What does that tell you? And the last 18. What does that tell you? And that member wants to spend, that member wants to spend a whole lot of millions, hundreds of million dollars on putting skyrockets on ships and planes. That's what he wants to do. He wants to waste the taxpayers' money, Mr. Speaker, on bombarding other people. That's where he is in Cuckoo Land. He wants to go to war. At the moment, they're warring on the people in this country. They're making them poorer. He doesn't want to give the money to support the social services. He wants to put skyrockets on warships. He wants to put skyrockets on, on tanks and play boy armies in that. That is a disgrace, uh, Mr. Speaker. It really is. And, and you should reconsider that stuff. And I know Mr. Foss is dying to get up and explain why the Hawke's Bay and Napier small and medium businesses are being closed down. And why in Wairau the unemployment rate is between 40 to 50 per cent? And why in those areas that people don't know how the hang they're going to pay the bills over the next week? And they think by gutting the public service, they've got this old trick, good old public service. You don't need them. But if you inflict bills on people and you put them into the poverty trap, then you need the professionals and everybody else to service and help them through their way. They've got a place of saving money, put the skyrockets on the blinging frigates and and close down the public service. What a mess, what a mess.